What's going on everybody my name is Rico and in today's episode of how to vlog on a budget I'm going to show you guys how to make a thumbnail with the free program called GIMP. Yeah. So you finally edited your video, you got a killer description, but now you're looking ways to make a thumbnail. You can use paint, but we all know that's not a very good program to do that. So I'm going to teach you guys how to work with GIMP. It's an open source program and it allows you to modify your pictures so that you can use them as a thumbnail. And the best thing is it's free of charge as well. Okay, so what I'm going to do is teach you guys how to make a thumbnail like this using the program called GIMP. First thing, what you're going to do is you're going to www.gimp.org. Once the page has loaded, you're going to click on download 2.10.6 and you're going to decide which one is best for you. For me, it's Windows. And then you press download game 2.10.6 directly instead of BitTorrent. After you're done installing the program, you're going to open it from wherever you've installed it. And then it's time to make our thumbnail. So you go into GIMP, select file, new, and then the thumbnail size is 1280 by 720. And you're going to pick transparency. Press OK. And now you have a screen like this. But we need to import the original picture into GIMP. So we're going to the folder where it's located. Right mouse, go to open and with, and then GIMP. As you can see, it now has opened your picture and your transparency layer is still here. So now it's time to move this one into the other one so what you're going to do is go to edit and then copy and then you're going back to the transparency layer so the one you've created by using new and then you go to paste as new layer now, as you can see the picture is very big it's very wide uh, and we have to scale it so what we're going to do is use the scale tool which is this one, I'm sorry it took a while. And then we're going to scale it 1280 by 720. And then it's located here, so we have to drag it. So we're going to use the select tool and then make sure it fits perfectly. Scroll in by using control and your mouse button, your mouse wheel actually, and then everything should be fine. If you want to switch the window like I'm doing right now, all you gotta do is press your mouse wheel and then go left or right, one of those. So press one to zoom out completely. And now you see the picture that we're going to use as a thumbnail. So we're going to duplicate this layer by pressing duplicate layer. And then we're going to turn off the original layer. So what we have to do now is cut this all out and create a white line, a red line, change the background like this. So how are we going to do that? You're going to use the pad tool, which is over here. And you're going to, let me zoom in, shape around the subject. Now, for the sake of this video and the time it's going to take me to do this, I'm going to fast forward it and I'll see you in a bit. Press control and then hit the first one and then you see a small square, small square over there, which means it's all connected. So what you're going to do now, let me scroll up a little bit, is press enter. So it will be selected. And then you're going to select invert and then hit the delete button on your keyboard and as you can see the background has now disappeared and only the image you've cut out is visible so 
what you're going to do now is create a white layer around it so we're going to start by doing that so we're going to select none and then press right mouse button go to alpha to selection let's put on the background alpha to selection and then you go to select grow and I'm using 10 points press ok but I want that to be in a new layer so I'm going to create a new layer let's call this white layer and then press ok and we're going to put it beneath the layer that we've just cut out and then we're going to select fill with background color and as you can see it just became white now I want a nice fade like this red one so I need another layer so what I'm going to do is create another layer but we have to grow it first so let's go to select grow 10 points again create a new layer let's call this the red layer press ok put it beneath the white layer and then I'm going to select my red one my red color like this so you press this little square press the color you can pick any color that you like from any spectrum that you like but I like this one and then you go to select fill with foreground color and now it's red so you're going to select none and now nothing is selected in this picture but as you can see over here it's nice and faded so we have to create a glow and we're going to do that by going to filters blur gaussian blur and then i like to set this to 50 and as you can see it immediately turns into a nice glow instead of a red line which is great but now we need the background to be a little bit different than this you can keep it like this and add a text layer but i'm going to show you guys how to create this nice blue glow so what you're going to do is you're going to click on the original layer which is the first layer that you've that you've pasted as a layer and then you're going to colors and invert and it kind of looks like a negative right now i like this look so what we're going to do now is create this blue glow that's over this picture so we're going to make a new layer let's call this hard light and then we are going to fill it with the foreground color press hard light and for me it's a little bit too much so i'm going to put this down to 40 and now you see we have the same blue glow as i have in this thumbnail and we got the white line the red line and now we need the text so we need to make another layer for that so we'll go to layers new layer let's call this text and then put it above everything so it's the top layer press the text icon i like to make this a little bit bigger let's say 100 let's use white Let's call this Kim Thumb. Okay. Use the select tool. Move it around a bit like that. Okay. That's that. But as you can see, I've got a nice shadow around it. So what we need to do is create another layer to do this. But we're going to alpha to selection. So it selects everything and then we go to select, grow, use 10 points again and now you can see that there's a nice line over the text. We're going to make a new layer, text, shadow, I know it's with an X but and then we're going to put it under the text layer select the color that we want, in this case black, go to select, fill the foreground color, and there you have it. 
And this is how you make a thumbnail for your YouTube channel. So I hope you guys like this tutorial. I've showed you now how to make a thumbnail using the free program called GIMP. If you've got any questions about it, leave a comment down below and I'll try to answer them as soon as possible. And there's one more thing left for me to say, which is make love to the like button. Please consider subscribing if you like what you saw and if you want to see more of it. Hit that bell button to be notified when I drop a new video. And until next time, doei!